Now, the nuclear deal is awaiting a stimulus from Iran as of now, and Tehran has not formally responded to a U.S. offer last week to talk with Iran in a joint meeting with the countries that negotiated the deal. And now the U.S. State Department spokesperson Ned Price has said that the United States' patience with Iran on returning to discussions over the 2015 nuclear deal is not unlimited. Our patience is not unlimited. Um, but we do believe, and the president has been clear on this ever since he was running for high office, that the United States and he um, felt that the most effective way to ensure Iran could never acquire a nuclear weapon was through diplomacy. Um, that is what we are engaged in now. Uh, heretofore, we've been engaged in, that, in those consultations with our allies, with our partners, with members of Congress. Uh, and now, as of last week, as of a week ago today, I believe it was, we have put that offer on the table that uh, through the under the auspices of the P5 plus one, uh, we would be willing to engage in that diplomacy, in those consultations uh, directly uh, with Iran. Price was asked whether there was an expiration date on the talks offer and he said that Iran's moves away from compliance with the 2015 agreement's restrictions on its nuclear activities has made the issue an urgent challenge for the United States. He added that the most effective way to ensure Iran could never acquire a nuclear weapon was through diplomacy. We have no higher priority uh, than their uh, safe uh, and expeditious uh, return. Our strong message, uh, as I believe we said to the Iranians, uh, is that we won't accept um, uh, their continued detention uh, in an unjust uh, and a wrongful manner. Um, it's a significant priority for this administration uh, to get them home safely. Two days earlier, the Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei said that Iran might enrich uranium up to 60 percent purity if the country needed to do so, adding that Iran would never yield to American pressure over its nuclear program. Now, for more on this story, our correspondent Jagrati Dave is still with us from Washington, D.C. Uh, Jagrati, share your inputs. Now, the U.S. State Department has clearly said that the U.S. patience with Iran on the nuclear deal is not unlimited. Now, is this a strong departure from the U.S.'s previous stand on the nuclear deal? Well, look, I think uh, one thing needs to be clear in terms of the difference in um, the previous administration's approach to the nuclear deal and Joe Biden's approach. Remember that Donald Trump withdrew America, uh, the United States in 2018 from that accord. And this is what Joe Biden is saying, that he is willing to meet with Iran to discuss a pathway back to it. What is not clear is whether Joe Biden means a return exactly to the terms of the 2015 uh, nuclear deal, the JCPOA, or whether he wants to renegotiate a sort of a broader um, agreement, a kind of a renewed accord. Um, right. This, some argue, is actually what Donald Trump himself was uh, calling for. So I think at this point, what the US is trying to say is that they want to re return to diplomacy, return to uh, being uh, on the same pathway as uh, America's European allies, something that was a departure under the Trump administration. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's sort of a, a kind of signaling of a reset, but we don't yet know the exact details of what a discussion with between the United States and Iran would really entail. Right, Jagati, just wrapping up our discussion here, my final question. I think the question in everybody's minds at this point is, is there an expiration date to this deal getting finalized or not? And what is the future of the nuclear deal at this point? Well, I think everyone wants to try to make sure that um, diplomacy works and succeeds. That is the message coming out of the United States. That is the message coming out of the European Union. So, so far, there is, a qual there, there is unanim un unanimity on that front. In terms of an expiration date, I mean, I think um, some commentators are arguing that actually Iran is likely to come to the table because they will want to uh, see an end to the crippling sanctions that they are facing. Indeed, that is one of Iran's demands that the United States immediately remove those sanctions and then we'll talk is what they're saying. Of course, the US hasn't committed to that. So there is this impasse that remains. Um, how long Iran can withstand uh, the, the, these sanctions is another issue, which is why the, these com some of these commentators are saying that at some point, Iran is going to come and you know, uh, reach out and, and take the hand that has been offered to them. Um, of course, we look ahead to the elections in Iran uh, in the next months, few months or so. And there are some who are arguing that actually that might be 
that expiration date or that, that, that deadline, internal deadline in people's minds, because there's a worry that there could be an even harder line uh, government that is that takes over in those elections that is elected, um, in which case they might right. not want to uh, have any communication with America. So I think there's a lot at play at the moment and a lot of balls that are up in the air. Um, so uh, I think everyone is watching and waiting to see um, what happens next, whether Iran uh, makes that next move and responds officially to um, America's suggestion. Right. All right, Jagruti, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us and thank you for all your inputs. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.